Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm going thrifting this morning. Actually, it's 11-11, make a wish. Um, <laughs> did you guys used to do that? We always did that. Um, anyways, when the clock says 11-11, you say make a wish because it's lucky. Anyways, actually, fun fact about time, when Skylar was like four to like eight, anytime he saw the time on the clock that was 10 o'clock, so like 10 zero zero, he'd be like, ah, a thousand o'clock <laughs> every time. And he was scared of a thousand o'clock. I don't know where he came up with it or why it stayed so long, but a thousand o'clock. Now, every time you see 11, 11 and a thousand o'clock, you'll think of me. <laughs> Anyways, I've been waiting to come to town. Curtis actually worked last night um, and he had a really bad call this morning, which meant he just got home. So as soon as he got home, we traded places and I came into town. He's okay. Everything, everything's fine. It just was kind of a yucky call. So anyways, um, so I'm going to go in there and do some shopping. I told Winnie I was going to buy her some new shirts, which I normally don't like to say I'm going to do that, but we were looking through her um, drawer this morning for her to find a t-shirt for school because it's layer season. You got your hoodie underneath that. You got your t-shirt underneath that. You got your tank top. It's layer season here in the Maritimes. So um, anyways, she has taken a huge growth spurt, especially in her like torso area from last summer. So basically unless the shirt was swimming on her last summer, which means, I don't know if you guys say that term, it means way too big for her. Um, so unless she was swimming in a t-shirt last year, it's not gonna fit her this year because she has grown a lot. All of my kids are growing. That's where all my grocery money's going to, guys. <laughs> Anyways, I'm at Frenchies, which is what um, we always call it Frenchies, but my little foster niece, who I love with my whole heart, calls it Frenchies. So, I have to call it Frenchies now. So we're going to head in. We're going to head in. I'm going to head in. There's no one with me. <laughs> I almost forgot my first rule of thrifting. Put that hair back, girl. You don't need that in your way. <laughs> also, I swear the backpack purse was made for thrifting. would ever give up this. <laughs> I think Jasper needs his own Spongebob. When he's got two bins today. And if you're wondering what's happening over there, they're restocking a houseware bin. Is that social distancing? Probably not. <laughs> so when I approach a bin like this, first thing I do, create a space. So I push close over like that. So I have my own little space for my discard pile. So I just pick up everything, check it. Actually, that's freaking adorable. Hello. <laughs> and it's Winnie's exact size right now. That's a pretty lucky first find, I would say. She doesn't like jeans, but I'm hoping those will work for her. Anyways, you pick up, you check the size. If you like it, you don't like it, discard. Then you just keep going like that. I get going pretty quickly, so I can't really do it and hold on to the camera at the same time, but I'll pick you back up in a bit. Oh, how I wish this was a couple of sizes bigger. Oh, love it so much. Maybe I'm just terrible, but this looks like kick tits to me. <laughs> Can we blame the dyslexia? Kick tits. <laughs> and this is what a bin looks like when Miranda's done with it. Time for bin number two. There's no chance of Winnie ever wearing a jean shirt, but I wanted to show you guys because it's just so cute. It's bugs. <laughs> done with bin number two. So once you're done going through the clothes, what you're gonna wanna do is check out what you picked up because sometimes you pick things up and you're like, yeah, I might want it, yeah, I might want it. So now it's time to go through the clothes a second time and make sure everything you, you picked up you actually do want to buy. I'm just taking a quick spin through the women's clothes just because I'm here. And look at this, it made me laugh. The boobs are real. The smile is fake. <laughs> I 
found this simple Terra in Sky shirt. I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Cute. This shirt describes me to a T. Is it on the shirt? No, it's the brand. Soft and sexy. <laughs> Is anyone else getting Big Bird vibes? <laughs> Sesame Street, Big Bird? <laughs> Beetlejuice or prison attire? <laughs> this is what Curtis always told me. I'm the girl the country songs are written about. Brad Paisley wrote all those songs about me and it was actually Curtis who wrote them and he let Brad Paisley use them. That's what he told me anyways. <laughs> How would this look with this hair? Is it too much or is it just enough? I think it's good. <laughs> Not being sarcastic at all, Curtis. Should I buy this pantsuit? <laughs> I know how much you love pantsuits, especially the ones that are stuck together like a big old onesie. Still got tags on it. $90 from Lane Bryant. What are the chances? You know you're in the Maritimes. Well, Anna Green Gables is at every single thrift store. <laughs> Oh my heck, you guys. I just spent like an hour and a half in that store. Whoa, I just spent $115 accidentally. <laughs> and I think I actually ended up finding more stuff of the plus size variety than I even found for Winnie, but it's, it's just part of the fun, guys. So let's do a try on haul. Let's go home. Get some friggin' ice water up in this bish and let's try some clothes on. I'm so excited. <sighs> Fresh air. And also, can you guys believe I found a friggin' Disney mug? Like, hello? Here she is. Like, excuse me? Thank you. I'm like, okay, it was meant to be. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show Curtis. He's gonna be like, you found it at Frenchies? No, baby, I found it at Frenchies. <laughs> Okay, turn around. Maybe. Can you believe I found that? $2.25. Good find. I know. would feel like you're taking advantage of her. Curtis! <laughs> Look it off the skirt. Get out of it. <laughs> what do you think, Mama? I love it. I love it, too. It was a good deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And dad said something inappropriate. <laughs> a private. Yes. We don't need to talk about the private dad. <laughs> I was just making Skylar's braids for his game. And look who came over to lay. <laughs> oh, that is the cutest. And that's pretty cute too. <laughs> Cringe. We just came in from playing outside and I just was going to fix my hair. And then I was like, you know what? Our hair is like matching right now. So let's just leave it as is. So I'm going to show Winnie what I picked up for her. And then I'm going to try some stuff on for me. But I just, happened. yes, this is all your stuff. I just got everything out of the bag. And then I got the very first thing that was put in the bag. Very first thing that I picked up at the store. And Winnie doesn't know what it is. It's for Jassy. Okay. Look, okay, watch. I'm, we're not going to give it to him yet because we're going to do our thing first, but I want to show you. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. He's going to have his own. I know. Isn't that amazing? Who would donate this? Who would get rid of SpongeBob? Boy. He's perfectly good. Like, part of me wants to keep him for my own collection, toys. but SpongeBob. Toys in the no, oh, you. Oh, yeah. I forgot I did get toys. Okay. Were you just taking a little sneak peek? 
a little sneak pizzle of the hizzle? Yes. So it's not a Value Village bag. It's a Frenchie's bag. So the expectation has to be lowered. It's Donald Duck and he's Lego. That is why I bought these because it had some Lego pieces. So it's got this little guy. It's the Lego Duplo, which is the only Lego I can do. It's the bigger size Lego, not the Mega Blocks, but the Lego Duplo. So it's like, oh, I have something in my eye. Something's been in my eye all day. That is, I think, Spirit. Do you remember that show? I'm gonna ride. I'm riding free. Horses kind of freak me out, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, a draft. This guy, and I think there's one more. Oh, yeah. Donald is also a Lego guy. And who's that? Rapunzel. Yes, that's Maximus. So I was like, yeah, why not? Let's grab it. And oh, this guy is actually a water toy, so he could go on your water table outside. Anyways, $2.25. I think I should put it in the shower. Oh, yeah, you could do that too. So all that, not too bad. And then I found these flip-flops, which might be just a little big on you. Or me. Yes, but see, flip-flops you can wear when they're a little bit big. I'm going to try them on right here, right now. Right here, right now. Do you like it? They're so glittery. They're cute, When? I thought they were in really good condition. They were only $2.25. So even if they don't, like, don't fit her. Them. Yeah, exactly. They might not fit perfectly till next summer. Fit so much. All right. Start it off. With a couple pairs of shorts, both from Justice. You hold up your favorite color, and I'll hold up my favorite color. <laughs> They're both for Winnie, of course. They are from Justice. They actually look brand new, and they are size 8. They are brand new. So we actually had a Justice store in Moncton. It lasted less than a year, I want to say. Did not last long. COVID kind of ruined that one. Um, anyways, Justice is actually really expensive too, unless Why you get it on sale. Why does every boy in our house like purple more than pink? I don't know. That's random thoughts with Winnie. Look at these. Are Aren't they these? more shorts? shorts? Yeah, they're more shorts. They're little tight shorts. These are size 7, 8, and they're Dan skin. They look like underwear. They actually, you know what? They totally look like underwear that the boys wear. Yeah. But they're girls. And they're not, not underwear. underwear. They're shorts. And you know what? These are the kind of shorts that you can even wear to the beach mm. or in the swimming pool because they're that like these material look, that's these good. These look like swimming pool. Well, I did pick up a few pieces for bathing suits. These yes, bottoms. these are bottoms. Bottom. You guys, while I was going through the bathing suit or the whole bins, because everything's just together in one bin, I was getting like slapped in the face and slapped in the face over and over again by Size eight. tiny. Yes, I was happy to find these. I kept finding I these basically, that's your feet. Oh. Yeah, eight's your body. Anyways, I kept finding these like tiny, like almost thong so style. Why school indoor shoes with 12? Those are 13 now, I think, aren't they? Maybe they're 12. They're 12, I okay. saw a sticker inside. Yes, okay. Anyways, they were too small. So I was just picking up whatever I could find that was actually this size. <laughs> Winnie! Okay, so anyways, I didn't get anything that was a pair, but I just got pieces. So this could go with anything that's like, you know what? I don't even care. Match your different, what are these called? Patterns. It doesn't matter. I'm over it. But I just, I can't even believe that they make little girls bathing suits that itty bitty. It just so cute. blows my mind. Blows my mind. I'm I a fan it. of tank enies for little girls, especially um anyways look at this tankini this is what you have. i know we could be twins this is another tankini guys tankini. so cute cool. and cool. to go with that look i got i couldn't find the exact that's bottoms eight two. for that one that's eight two. well here's another pair of bottoms right here boom shakalaka another size seven size eight thought yeah. i had one more pair i can't find them but i did get another Yay. pair of just plain purple shorts like this I'm hoping that maybe they just fell out in the car. I'll go look for them after, but we got to do this now. <laughs> okay, Winnie, I have a question for you. I hope the answer is yes, but if it's not a yes, that's okay. Would you wear these? Only if they're not tight. Yeah, okay. They're not, they're shorts, right? Shorts. And look, stretchy. Yeah. Winnie has actually never worn a pair of jeans in her whole entire life. 
Because Winnie has yes. clothes anxiety, just like I do. And if you put something on and your body's just like, get it off, get it off, get it off. That was me and crinoline. Do you guys know what crinoline is? If you don't, Google it. It's the fancy stuff that goes underneath Easter dresses when you're a Baptist church girl. Yes. And I remember being at Sunday school on Easter morning with a pair of scissors cutting out the crinoline from my dress because I was having a major panic attack. Anyways, <laughs> my parents just thought I was throwing temper tantrums, but no, it's severe. No, I was going to say anemia. I got that too, but uh, severe anxiety. Anyways, I thought this would be so cute. You could wear anything underneath of it. And you know what? Even if you only want to put it on just to take a picture with me, then we can do that because I want to find a pair for me. If you see these in a 3X anywheres, let me know. <laughs> Actually, I probably need more than a 3X because if you haven't noticed, I carry a lot of my holiday weight down there. So yeah. I need a nice big pooch style. Pooch. Poochy, poochy. All right. You ready for this cutest t-shirt ever? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it? It says hashtag queen. Possum and yes. Hashtag vibes. I think it's a size number eight. Okay. Yeah. Seven, eight. Seven, Perfect. Eight. That's from Children's Place. And then, da, 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 da. she can match her mama. Do you want to wear it and match me and I'll wear some of my Disney stuff at the same time? And then we can Maybe. take a photo and use it as a thumbnail Maybe. and put it on Maybe. Instagram. Maybe. <laughs> okay. How about this one? Isn't that pretty? Look, a little rainbow moment. The back has a little bit of a little peekaboo. Peekaboo. Ooh, what's that? That's the top of my tailbone. What is that bone called? I don't know. I got a tattoo on it, though. Top of the tailbone, tizzy. Oh, careful. <laughs> she's standing on a chair, so I'm having just a little worry that she's going to fall. I have a shirt under. Yeah, you do. Okay. Now, Winnie, you know Fluffy. that Fluffy. Canada Day, we live in Canada, right? Fluffy. Yeah, hold on. We live in Canada, right? No, it is not a Canada Day thing. So July 1st is Canada Day, which is a holiday. We usually do a big camping trip. We have so much fun. But did you know we have a lot of friends that live in the States, right? In the U.S. of A, the United States of America. Well, guess what? They have a Canada Day, only it's called Independence Day, and it's on July 4th. So I was thinking... We could celebrate for our friends and with our friends that live in the States. We want to celebrate with you because why not? <laughs> so I found this and I was like, oh, heck yeah. So this is not the Canadian flag, right? This is the American flag. That looks like USA. And that says USA right there. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I knew it said USA. It's like a white t-shirt. She might only wear it the one time, but I thought, you know what? We have so many friends that live in the States. Let's celebrate it. Oh, Let's have a drink with I'll you guys. <laughs> Is that good? Anyways, we're going to celebrate with you guys this year. Why the heck not? The more parties, the better. Right, Winnie? Yeah, I think so too. All right, so I found these. I was hoping that I was going to find... These are pajama pants. And look, they're Disney, yeah. but I think they would have been Mickey Mouse, they but we do like not this. have the shirt. They don't look like <laughs> they're just like rainbow pajama pants. But the reason why mommy bought them why is, they're Disney. I don't know, because What's there's probably a top that goes with it, but the top was not there. Um, so these are a size eight. And the reason that I bought them is because when we go camping, Winnie has a lot of fleece. Do I have any fleece here? No. Um, Winnie has a lot of like, you know, your really soft pajama pants. You cannot wear those camping. So we need, because if, if you don't know, if a flame or not a flame, she doesn't like play around in the flame. But um, when we have campfires, if a spark leaves the campfire and gets on fleece pants, it's not good. It's not good. They can melt like that and she can actually get really hurt. So there's no fleece allowed at our campfires. And oh, yeah, help. At, yes, at home, because at home we have a propane fireplace and that does not have ambers or sparks. But when we're camping, see, these are things I wouldn't know unless we bought a trailer. Now I know, um, never send your kids without flame-resistant clothing, especially when they're going to be around a campfire. So that's why I bought these, the perfect size. Not soft ones. They're not super soft, but only, these are really nice for have, the summer. Only if we're not having a campfire, I can use them. Yeah, but I usually don't bring them at all, do I? 
We just bring these kind. They're super comfy. Um, and even when it's hot, they're I really light. I remember when I was little, you brought some. Mm. Because uh, you didn't let me in the fire. Okay. I don't think I've ever let you in the fire, but... No, like close. <laughs> like, okay. Like Look what around. I found for you. It's not a t-shirt, but I could not leave it. What's that? It's, it's a little tie-dye shirt. It's kind of like one of mine. Don't you love it? Pink? I love it. Okay, I think that's it. And this okay, is mine. that's it. We're ready to give that to Jassy? This is mine. You already have a SpongeBob. Mwah. Let's go give it to Jess. He's going to love it. Do you want a new toy, buddy? Do you want a new toy? You got that for you. You got SpongeBob, Jesse. Oh my sakes. Oh my sakes, butters. Oh, is that a new toy? <laughs> Good boy. Man down. Man down. <laughs> <laughs> what a good boy he's chewing his little feet <laughs> that is too cute oh i love you butterball yes i do <laughs> okay winnie is playing in her room and i found the purple shorts <laughs> so i was thinking like these are again they're like say they're dance wear but at least at home in the home pool we'll see how these work in the pool if i can't find enough bottoms um i was like okay i was trying to tell you guys but <laughs> things were just a little chaotic for a minute um see look they match okay anyways um the bottoms for little girls bathing suits are absurd like i couldn't even believe it like there were so many bottoms of bathing suits not a lot of tops of bathing suits, but a lot of bottoms of bathing suits. And I know why no one was picking them up. They look like friggin' thongs. They look like they belong to like somebody that goes to the Bahamas and thinks nude beach or bathing suit optional, you know, like that kind of person, not, not a little tiny girl. Like, oh, I just couldn't even believe it. Anyways, speaking of bathing suit bottoms, I bought some for myself. I've mentioned in other videos um, that I want to have as many bathing suits as I can find, especially when they're being thrifted, because I want to feel so damn comfortable in a bathing suit that I could literally wear one every day of the week. That is what I want for this summer. I am in such a good place with um, my eating disorder recovery, and I just, it's like a whole self-love journey where I really realized health doesn't just mean weight. It's so much more than weight. So I just really, 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 after that meaning of health, I don't know why I did one of these. It hurts, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I wanna have so many bathing suits that it's like, ooh, how hot do I wanna be today? Which one should I wear? <laughs> so anyways, I found these bottoms. Bottoms are something that like, okay, like, ooh. <laughs> Bottoms are icky, okay, for me. They're icky for me. I haven't been comfortable with that area of myself for, how old is Skylar? 15 years. <laughs> I am super self-conscious and especially like my upper thigh, like close to La La Land, if you know what I'm saying. It's just like, there's some stretch marks and some pretty business happening. And it's just like, mm, does the world want to see that? Probably not. But should I care? No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't care. So I got some high-waisted bathing suit bottoms. And I thought, okay, like there was actually quite a few plus size high-waisted bathing suit bottoms there. Some of them were a little bit worn out. This is brand new. So I was like, okay, it's brand new. I should just get it. And we'll see. We'll see. And it's... It's got a little bit of a fupa, which is <laughs> if you like to search urban dictionary words, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, I also have one of these. <laughs> but anyways, I thought this would be like probably the most comfortable I could be because it's like full coverage. Like it's, it's maybe a granny panty, but I'm down to clown with grannies. Like it's okay. Um, anyways, this is, I think a three X let's, oh, it's a one X. See, this is. It looks like a 3X, but it's a 1X from Rose Gal. I've heard of that brand before. 
but I don't think I've ever owned anything from them. So I'm not gonna try these on for you, but I'll do this. Use your imagination. Wow! <laughs> I will try on everything else though. I just, I'm not even trying that on. And it's still got like the little condom thing on it. So, and plus all of this stuff gets washed, guys. All of it gets washed. Um, I grabbed this because again, it was a brand new, never been worn. This is definitely not my favorite color. This is definitely um, a layering piece, not a fashion piece. I hear the dog. I don't know where he is. Chewing SpongeBob probably. Anyways, um, this is a 2X and it's gotta be from the States because um, it says it's $1.68. <laughs> on what planet that like this would probably be 688 here i i'm confused because that just seems so cheap anyways <laughs> i actually probably paid more than that at frenchay's for a used well this actually hasn't been used because the tags are still on it and everything but anyways i just grabbed that for a little layering piece we don't really need to try that on um i do want to try this on i think this might be a little tight because this is like legitimately a 1X. And I've been like, just kind of flirting with 1X. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna be you. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna try this on. We will see. This is the Terra and Sky, Sky brand. I'm just gonna do this now, like in front of you guys. And don't judge the bra that I'm wearing today. I actually have plans to go, this is just a bralette. It's like, not cute. <laughs> um, I have plans to go with um, my sister-in-law to Pennington's this weekend, and I'm going to try to be brave and be a big girl and get my chest sized and get a good bra. So that is the plan. Oh, I do like this color though. I do like this color. It is a little tight. We guessed it, but it's not too bad. <sighs> it's just, you know, okay. Got a little rumple steel skin, but that's okay. Oh, look at the purple on it. Yes, give me more. <laughs> Anyways, like, so the shirts at Frenchies, the plus size shirts are about $5 each. So sometimes um, it's a better deal than other times. Anyways, and actually also, it really depends on who your cashier is because sometimes they put it in differently. And I just try not to watch the cash register go up. I feel like I did get a lot for $115. Um, what the heck is this? Oh, I think this is the last thing that I picked up. I think it's a dress. I think I had this in mind for like, just to wear over top of a bathing suit. Um, I do swim with the kids that I babysit here cause we have like a three foot pool. Um, and then obviously we camp all summer long. So yeah, this is like more of a dress thing. And if I don't like it as that, I'll just use it as a nighty. But it's a 3X. It's nice and big and beautiful, like me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this one here, I have no idea. Don't know the size. Don't know um, who made it. Um, yeah. It's a mystery shirt. I really like the navy and white stripes for the summer. I know it's like, it's kind of like nautical, like boaty, you know? Um, I like it. I don't know. I think it just makes me want to go to the beach and this shirt is not happening. <laughs> this shirt is, it's really tight. Yeah, that's, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. This one is one of my favorite colors. I love green. It is actually my wedding colors were purple and green. My two favorite colors. So this is a 1X, but it looks like it's like a nice 1X, not just like a like a mean girl 1X that's like, <laughs> I'm actually, actually an extra large. <laughs> Anyways, this is Holly. Oh, Holly Robinson Pete. Isn't she an actress? Maybe a basketball player's wife also? I feel like it. I feel like that sounds about it. I did not know she had a clothing line. All right, let's see. Be good to me because I like it. Maybe it's going to be maternity-ish. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. I really could have tried things on today. I'm not sure. I'm concerned. Anytime I wear a shirt that looks like it would be maternity or could be maternity, I get that like, I'm getting it right now, I get that anxiety where it's like, you're scared. People are going to ask you if you're expecting. <laughs> Expecting a fist in your 
face. <laughs> we met in the store, guys. Soft and sexy. Now, this would be a shirt that I would definitely want a little more lift. How are you doing? <laughs> this shirt's good. This shirt's good. I don't know if it's going to be perfect for summer because it gives me a little bit of like fall vibes with this like little petite scarf here. It's like the shirt is just cut out and they left the collar. But I think it's cute. I think it's cute. And you know what? I actually think with a pair of jeans and some wedges, then you got yourself a date night outfit. You know what I'm saying? Will we have dates this fall? I, it's really hard to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's really hard to say. But finally, we have a winner. So even if date night's at home, which let's not talk about it, but it will be fun. <laughs> I don't know what store this is from, but it's called Secret Treasures, which could be a adult store. <laughs> but I don't think this is it. Um, this is just a regular t-shirt. I just, oh, I, I could always buy t-shirts, you guys. I ruin my t-shirts so easily being with kids all the time because I'm always, well, I'm always in the kitchen. I'm always doing crafts and playing dirt and all that. So just having like a plethora of shirts to grab from just to toss on. This is actually super comfortable too. And it looks okay. Like, it's not like, it's not a moment, but it's like here, you know? <laughs> Did that make sense to anyone else? Because it made total sense to me. <laughs> okay, I've got two sweaters to try on. And then I actually have three pairs of leggings to try on as well, which they're a little bit out of my comfort zone. And I also hope they fit. Um, I really should have tried stuff on, but they only have two um, because of COVID, they only have two. Did I just eye roll while I said that? I'm like, Ugh. anybody else tired of it? Yeah, okay. Um, they have two fitting rooms that you can go in. Um, but there was people, you guys saw how busy the store was. Like, I was not about to go stand in line to wait to try some stuff on. If I'll wear it, I'll wear it. If I don't want it, I'll redonate it or give it to someone who I know would want it. Um, this is St. John's Bay, which is like across across the water like that's a maritime province i don't know i've never seen um a company from that so i'm assuming it's from newfoundland but i'm not really sure it's for a woman if you were wondering and it's a 1x so <laughs> let's see if it's a good 1x or a 1x that we don't like <laughs> i think it's gonna be a good one i picked this up and i'm like oh miranda you don't need that it's summer and then i was like but it's my favorite color to wear I absolutely adore this color on me. I just find it like pops my eyes out. Oh, I'm glad I got it. It fits. Okay. So it's like, I could probably, what is this? It's like not even a hood. It's like, <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't say that. That might be a little bit bad, but I kind of feel like Mary Magdalene moment. No, yes. <laughs> yeah, that was funny to wait. Okay. Um, yeah, this is cute. This is cute. I probably will not wear it camping because I will not want to ruin it. Um, but maybe I will want to ruin it. I don't know. We'll see. It is really nice and soft on the inside. <laughs> so I might, well, we camp at a lot of places where it's actually like so much colder there than it would be at home because it's on the coast. And I mean, this is the East Coast. I'm from New Brunswick, if you didn't know. Um, but when you get like the closer to the coast, you get the colder it gets. And we camp a lot in Funday Park, St. Martin's and those places like that. And it's super cold there. So I always make sure I pack lots of warm stuff when we go there. Okay. This is kind of like a grandma sweater moment. I remember when my Grammy Murray, who's in heaven baking pies for Jesus and cookies for Jesus and knitting sweaters and mittens for Jesus. And I love her and I can't wait to see her again someday. But anyways, um, she used to iron on <laughs> like these iron on transfers onto like a regular sweater. And I remember, I can't exactly remember what it looked like, but I remember, I don't, I don't know why this is just coming back to me right now, but, um, there was teddy bears that she, my nickname was bear growing up one of them. <laughs> um, anyways, um, she ironed on these teddy bears to a sweater and it was like so grandma-ish and I loved it like so much and I wore it all the time. But anyways, this sweater reminds me of the kind that she would like iron on transfer, but this is cute. 
this is cute and it's got thumb holes and it matches my theme, the purple theme. And it's nice and big and fluffy and nice and perfect and hallelujah, something works. <laughs> and this would be great for camping season for those cold nights or cold mornings or rainy days, what have you. All right, we're gonna try some pants on and I'm not gonna change like this, so I'll be right back. You guys wanna know something? I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> I wanted to show you what they look like before I put them on. So these are the only ones that I actually found in the plus section. Um, these are 2XL and they have these little things on them. I actually left them on the rack. And then when I was about to leave, I was like, yeah, just go grab them. Because I'm always looking for black leggings. I know it seems like I have a lot, but I feel like I don't because I'm always wearing them. Okay, I think they work. I think they work. They're not too tight. Yay! <laughs> Yay! They're like, actually they've got room to grow if I feel the need, so. <laughs> I love the tag on this one. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this is AJ by Amelia James, but the size, the size is extra curvy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Winnie's laughing. So Frenchies tag these as XL. That's inappropriate. Fupa. <laughs> They're really comfortable and room to grow. What every man needs for his pants. <laughs> this is the last thing I'm going to try on. And these are Cynthia Rowley. I've actually bought a few of her things from Winners or Marshalls. And I really do like the fit of everything that I've ever bought from her. I really like the material that she uses or her company uses. Anyways, I got hopes, but Curtis will probably laugh at these pants because they are a little loud. But I'm thinking like if I wore like a black sweater, then no one would notice that my legs were having a party. You know, it just makes sense to me. They fit. <laughs> and Curtis is teasing me because he just got home. And these have room to grow as well. So yay. Yay for me. Your hands are freezing. <laughs> Were you not wearing gloves? It's freaking cold out there. It was raining on me. I got wet pants. <laughs> Why are my pants cold and wet? <laughs> dad and Winnie were in here, but now all I see is dad. Where the heck could Winnie be? Oh, we built a house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice house, Winnie. I know what he said. He said I want someone in. <laughs> Are you mad? Did daddy block you out? How dare he block you out? I oh, you know the audacity of that man. I know I like his ass too. <laughs> They're making a tower now. <laughs> and Wendy's going to sit on top. No, she is not. I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, you're not. <laughs> you do those three? No. One at a time? Yeah. What? Scary. Oh, top. The end's going to get in. <laughs> Watch this. Ooh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> How do you like our house? All right, it's almost eight o'clock. It is, whoa, hey Coop, how you doing? Oh, here comes Jess. It is almost bedtime. Skylar's just finishing up his volleyball game that I'm gonna go pick him up I'm from there. And then, and then we're gonna all go to bed because we're all tired, all of us, except for maybe Jess. Yes, Winnie has a birthday party tomorrow with her friends. Everly. And Finley's going. Finley's going. I don't think they know who Ellie, Everly or Ellie, Finley is. Elliot's going. Oh, yeah, I don't think they know Elliot, but I bet Asher you... Asher and Leslie's going. Oh, my hat. Can you tell she's excited? And Cody and Colt. What? <laughs> oh, did he see him in the window? <laughs> hey, Jess. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> 
we love you guys so much. We hope you're having a great day and we hope that you know how loved you are. Hang in there. Hang in there, Coop. Hang in there. Winnie. Hang in there, Winnie. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay we love you guys <laughs> we will see you tomorrow and jasper's trying to eat stuffy so we gotta go we gotta go jasper no! not on me not on me <laughs> oh every time every time with avi